This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now in front of my house in the garage. And what do we have here? The ultimate electro auto. Yeah, the ultimate driving machine. So I put it in the garage now. I don't want to take it out yet until we drive because it, it is freaking snowy outside. We just, my, my neighbor just cleared the snow. We've been taking turns and clearing the no, snow and it, it already snowed over. So this is the real Yalo test. We're going to drive to Yalo tonight with the BMW i4. This is the M50, the all-wheel drive version. It has around 84 kilowatt hour battery. So lots of oomph. Ooh, we're gonna see, by the way, if the radar gets blocked or not. I don't know if it's heated. Is it heated? Okay, but man, guys, look, look, look at this, look at this. Huh? Huh, do you like that shit? Okay, but, but okay, I'm gonna show you something. How do you always do this? Uh, look at the interior. Man, Beamer Bjorn is back. I love this interior. Okay, well, it's, it's a little bit uh, tight, not so spacious, but because this is actually based on uh, on a four series, so it even has the transmission hump here, but at least they put electronics and shit in there. But listen to this. Have you heard frameless window make that sound before? So we're here now. Uh, yes, by the way, I know that uh, I've been showing my home address in the past videos, but you know, you guys probably figured out that it's impossible for me to hide my home location. And uh, I haven't had any problem with stalker coming to my home. If there's a problem, I call the polizai, yeah. So I have friends uh, who works at the, as a polizai in a way. So the plan is to drive 228 kilometers. This car doesn't show you how many percent we will arrive with, so I have no idea, man. But that's gonna be the, the fun part of this, right? So, yeah, this is kind of funny. We are charging at zero, okay. All right, but we have 100%, so off we go. been driving for one and a half hours and we're getting close to Gulsvik. So um, we drove through some uh, frozen rain and I noticed that uh, after that stretch that the headlights looks a bit dim or diffuse rather. You see here we have low beam and then here we have high beam. And before I entered um, uh, the frozen rain stretch, uh, the, the high beam were way more defined. We have laser lights after all. So uh, I'm going to stop at the gas station and check out uh, what it looks like. I bet uh, the headlights are covered with ice. You see, it, it's, <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah. We are now at Soka K. This one is closed, which is blocking a fuel pump. Yes, of course, ABC always be blocking. So, um, yes, many people, uh, especially Germans, I believe, or they, uh, they claim that, yeah, okay, uh, when we are in park, you see, we are a P-stop here, we are in park, then the trip meter shouldn't count because this is a part of the trip. Well, is it? Okay, well, we are just stationary now with the heater running. I guess the average will go up. But okay, let's check out the front. Well, well, well. Just like I thought. So we have a... Well, okay, okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, I guess I'm just clear. I was wondering how the heck I'm supposed to get rid of this, but I've seen worse than this. This is not too bad. Okay, now we have clear laser again. Wait, do we have uh, Okay, I can wipe it off with, uh, all right. 
Well, look at this. Ooh, but look here. Uh, well, let's uh, pull out the thermal camera. Okay, let's see. Is it heated? Oh, yeah. Like a ninja. Let me see. What is the surface temperature on this license plate? It's around zero degrees Celsius. And on the radar, wow. Really? 20 degrees? Yeah, well, this, this is, <laughs> this is kick-ass. This is exactly what you need in this kind of weather. You see? German engineering for the wind. Oh yeah, the laser cannons are clear. But wow, I just noticed in the wheel arches. <laughs> and also, by the way, we have... Uh, what is this? Yeah, it's Pirelli, Pirelli P0. Uh, they are not the best winter tires for Nordic uh, driving conditions. This is more like a Bavarian winter. So that's actually a downside. I have to be a little bit careful. Ideally, you want to have something like Nuke and Hakablita R3 or something. Oh, we have blue brake calipers. Okay, but uh, how the heck do I clear this? Um, all right, okay, you know what? It's going to build up again. Yeah, and the problem is that uh, it builds up and then it freezes and then it becomes rock hard. Let's see what it looks like uh, at uh, Yalo because over here it's around minus five degrees. At Yalo it's going to be minus 10. What? Here is the back. Shit. Uh, uh. Wait, maybe I should clear this one also. Or does it matter? It's going to build up again, right? I wonder why consumption is so high because of this. Oh man, lovely weather here in Norway. Ah, should have been in some other country. I can show the back, by the way. Ooh, this design resembles MG ZS EV. Man, the Germans, they've been copying the Chinese. Oh, I just noticed. This is a German car. It also displays power as a kilowatt hour per hour. But only when you're stationary like this. When we are charging, it will actually display kilowatt, not kilowatt hour per hour. <laughs> oh, and okay, let me see. Oh, okay, it was, uh, the consumption was 223 watt hour per kilometer when we came here. It's now 225, but okay, this is the part of the trip. We've been stationary here for 20 minutes. All right, let's go then to Yalo. Ah, and this car also supports uh, Spotify. So I just logged into my account and you see, it also supports Thai letters, huh? Okay, let's test how good the sound is. I just wanna bend, bend you, Debo. Ooh. Debo. Okay, let's check now. Oh, this looks better. Oh, this looks better. Oh, yeah, laser light that turns even. Now we're cooking. Oh, look at that. Man, I love this shit. Oh, it's snowing. And it is somewhat uh, slippery. Let me show you how slippery it is. I'm doing around uh, 80 plus VAT. Uh, brake. Okay, fairly stable on the braking. Tries to, it tries to uh, find out where the best grip is. But of course, you don't want to do any weird shit. But okay, let me see. Let me see what happens if I try to throttle a bit, accelerate in the curve. Oh, nicely done. Can we go a little bit slower? Yeah, it seems to be 50-50 biased. I can't provoke any oversteer. I mean, the car wants to be safe. Anyway, attraction control is, of course, on. Let me try region in the curve then. Okay, I don't feel any weird wiggling on the tail. Let me see. There's another slight curve coming here. The curves here are not that sharp, but I'll try to provoke some... Uh, okay, full region now. Super stable. Super stable. This car is so nice to drive on slippery roads. It feels uh, planted on the road. The only minus is that we have Soto Zero. Yeah, I wish I had a Hakablit R3. So, yeah, but it is just super stable. It feels, it feels so confident on the roads here. 
just yeah the, the, the reason why I'm wiggling a little bit is because I'm trying to feel feel how it responds when I throttle when I regen and uh, it doesn't do any weird shit like uh, some uh, American uh, car manufacturers tend to do well okay maybe they fix it already okay well here, here we go here we go okay let's try full regen now yep 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 no problem accelerate no regen accelerate no problem no problemo We are now at Yellow, so okay. So, uh, how the heck did the front camera stay clean? Mm. And also the sides, kind of, wait, how do I... Uh, 3D view, okay, let's see. Well, uh, okay, this is, wait, how do I... Okay, it's not as smooth as uh, the Mercedes, but, uh, oh, this is still noise. Okay, it seems to be some schmutz behind the car, and the sensors are going off there. Oh, okay, okay, I have to say it's uh, fairly nice, fairly nice, yeah. Nice beaver. Okay, so consumption was 247 watt hour per kilometer, and we have 28% left. Okay, let's plug it in and see how fast we can charge here. Ah, so you know, for the last uh, part, we didn't have any snow. So it seems like the car detected that, and the radar this time is not that hot anymore. So that's smart, because there is no need to uh, output full power on the radar heater if it's not needed. But look here. I'm pretty sure that uh, the front camera is heated. Let me try to aim on it and see. At the, okay, I forgot it's, it's camera. So. The front camera seems to be at around five degrees Celsius. And also you can actually see it here I think this is not a coincidence that the ice in front of it has uh, actually broken off. So, uh, and also I can show you that on the side here, uh, it doesn't look that dirty, but also here, if you see there, that's a bright spot around six to seven degrees Celsius. So again, I'm quite convinced that these cameras are heated. Whereas uh, most other cameras I've seen, they will also, of course, actually there will be usually a little spot. Oh, okay, I've been hammering it. Uh, usually there'll be a spot around the, the park sensors, but not that hot spot like this one. And okay, I can show also in the back. What does it look like in the back now after driving through the snow? Well, looks like something like this. Okay, this is a bit strange. It looks like we are not charging, uh, I'm not sure, or are we charging? Um, and then I see the percentage goes up. And also another weird thing is that if we want to start the car now, start the heater, it says that we have to disconnect before we can start the car. What, what if I want the heater? Uh, climate menu, can we just fire it on? Are you, are you kidding me? Can I not run the heater? Come on. It seems to be grayed out. Really? Okay, let's check outside. Oh yeah, you can run the heater. You don't have to press the plus button. So it's a bit uh, weird, but you're just get, getting used to the car. I'm a noob. <laughs> but yeah, according to the charger, we are pulling 60 kilowatt. So I did not navigate to the fast charger. And according to the display, it seems like it could take 210. But of course, at low state of charge. So 60 kilowatt with... Uh, not too hot battery. Well, this is actually worse than Polestar. Polestar 2 managed to receive 100 kilowatt at the rival here. Okay, we don't want to charge too long. We are now at Dr. Horn Hotel. I always stay here. See? Nice hotel. 
it's actually a wood, wooden building. But okay, anyway, man, it's a sexy beast. So let me show you here that here we have charging capabilities, options. And well, actually there's a Tesla destination charger, 7.4 kilowatt. It's being taken by a Model uh, Y right now. But uh, normally I could use this one and this one is also, uh, it's possible for non-Tesla to charge here. But uh, we also have plugs there and here, uh, double shuko in case you want to plug in and charge. You see? Wait. Why the heck is this uh, plug-in hybrid blocking the charger? Yeah, um, okay, yeah, it doesn't say specifically that you shouldn't block the spot, so this is bad, of course, for the driver to block it, but no big deal, I guess. But okay, so you see, I could charge the, the i4 here, but I choose not to. Uh, under normal circumstances, we will either, either way just plug in the Shuku, and then in the morning we will have uh, roughly uh, 50 60 percent and that would almost be enough to go back home so but we're not going to do it we're going to soak it here and see what happens in the morning so i guess i'll move it let me see do we have uh, an available spot here yes we have okay and also can someone please tell me why do we have so many danes here this this is a danish license plate there's another dane there's another dane there's another dane so one two three at least four Danish cars over here. Hmm. I guess they don't have mountains in Denmark. Good morning. It's almost 11 now, which means that the car's been soaked out here for nine and a half hours, roughly, something. Actually, yeah, no, no, actually around, around nine hours, something. So that should be good enough. So here you see, beautiful winter. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, I wonder how cold it is. But I tried to remove some of the stuff in the wheel arches at the gas station yesterday, so we won't have too much trouble. But okay, let's see now. So we had 32% battery yesterday. Oh, we have 30% now. All right, so first thing I will check is to see how long it takes for the heater to heat up. Okay, so it's uh, 53, roughly 53.30. So now I'm going to fire up the car. You just press the brake, start, and it will fire up. Uh, okay, let me set it to 21. Actually, I prefer 22. Yeah, it's actually 54 now. Well, this is fast. After just two minutes, we already have heat coming off on the vents. See there? And then, here, yeah, already 20 degrees. I'm not sure if it uses uh, the P heat pump purely or if it, it bases on the PTC. And also I activated the steering wheel. Steering wheel heater is uh, very convenient. It's right here, the button. And it will say heat activated, but do we see any symbol when it's activated? Deactivated? No, I'm not sure. I don't think we see any symbols here, but okay. And you will see that it starts heating up Nothing to see. Yeah, looks normal. Let me see, can I, can I feel it? Yeah, it starts to heat up now. Maybe a little bit slow compared to uh, Polestar 2. Well, a clumsy part with this car is that uh, if we have the heater running, if we just open the door, everything will turn off. <laughs> but I figure that if I turn on while the door is open and then I leave the car uh, and I close the door then the heater is running and let's expect the seat heater okay we have also uh, elements in the side bolsters what about over here oh yeah oh Pretty good coverage to say. What about the okay? Yeah, all right, looks good. And we also have seat heater in the back with separate buttons here in the center console, so you can check out also the back what it looks like, similar to the front. Okay, no seat heater in the middle, but at least on the sides. Whoa, the heater is or the car is pulling seven point. 
yeah, 7 kilowatt hour per hour. This could indicate that uh, we are heating up the battery. Because normally you wouldn't output this high power only to heat up the cabin. All right, lovely day today. Now we're gonna check for uh, cold gate or anything. Let me see, we seem to have OK region. OK acceleration, no reduced power there, no turtle mode. Also region seems to be uh, fine. The car feels and drives just like uh, yesterday. Okay, we're now back at Circle K. I'm gonna test charging. So the charge board is on the right side with the wrong side, should be on the left side with the right side. Because the charge board should be on the same side as the driver is for convenience. And okay, let me see. I like these flaps. Not those flimsy butt plugs. Okay, we're gonna use this one. This one is uh, 300 kilowatt. So the car is supposed to take up to 210 kilowatt. Um, okay, we are charging now. Seems to be slower than yesterday, but this is so weird that we don't see uh, how fast we are charging in kilowatt. Uh, I mean, uh, don't they share software, uh, BMW? Because the iX3 does show you kilowatt in the display here. <laughs> so it seems like they have different version of software. So I have no idea how fast we are charging. We have to check outside, I guess. Whoa. This is, uh, this battery is actually cold getting more than the Polestar 2 I tested recently. Similar temperature outside also. You see we're receiving only 37 kilowatts. The Polestar in the morning was receiving uh, 55, 60, well, at least, at least over 50 kilowatts, more like 60 kilowatts. So, all right, I think we've seen enough now. So what BMW told me is that if you navigate to a fast charger, it will then preheat. Can I see the fast chargers? Uh, I know the, oh, okay, yeah, oh, I can see them here. See, I want to go to Ionity, I think it's here. Ionity, all right, show list. So it's very important, you have to navigate to Ionity, don't navigate to Circle K. So now you will, we will tell the car that we want to go to that charger, start route guidance. And then let's see what kind of speed we get over there. We still don't get any uh, percent estimate Thing. I checked on the, uh, the route planner and the route planner told me that I need around, I don't know, 12 to 15 percent only because we have only have, mostly have downhills here. Wait, where do I see the overview now? Hmm. I prefer to just use the home here. We had this one and we have, well, of course, picture of the car takes up 90 percent of the space here. And then we, it would be nice to have some more information here, but then you have to click here and then suddenly you see time and all the other stuff here. Still with a big ass picture of the car here. So this is just, I don't know what's up with the German automakers. They just want to put a big picture of the car instead of more information. But at least here we have the correct picture of the car. With uh, Volkswagen, you will always have a white car in the screen. And then in the app, you always have a yellow car. <laughs> okay, let's do a little check here again with the car. Oh, so actually now in the morning, the car decides to heat up the radar. All right, what about the camera here? Yeah, that one is also being heated up. And then let's check. Um, this car does not have um, headlight washers, which is a bummer, because uh, all the other stuff is uh, nice and checked. Let's see, and also here, it doesn't seem like the nozzles are heated. And we also don't have any heated uh, wiper blade uh, resting area. Oh, interesting. We've been charging for a little bit. And then we see something like this. I wonder if this is some kind of limit. Maybe charge limit. Hmm, could be. But okay. Well, 36%. Yeah, it's going quite slow now.
you know what, I only did juicing up. So I give up the display inside the car. We'll check the tritium display instead. Um, cheat. What? So I navigated to Ionity and we still get only 60 kilowatt. This car is supposed to take 200, 210. I would expect at least 100 kilowatt over here. So, uh, well, 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 seems like the the Bayerska Auto is cold gating. Hmm. And it's only minus 10 degrees over here. And in order to preheat the car or keep climate on, you can program this button here to do it. Or you can use the app, but I also want to check how easy it is to precondition the car or keep climate on via the car's display. So the way you do it is you have to click here, climate menu, that's one click, settings, two clicks, preconditioning, three clicks, and then four clicks, start now. So, and then it doesn't say, but uh, I think it runs for half an hour. That's what it uh, displays when you precondition from the app. We've been charging for 11 minutes and now we're cooking. Now we're getting 100 kilowatt at 45%. Okay, not too shabby. It's starting to recover. Okay, uh, but the rip planner claims that we need 42% to reach Ionity Vik. I want to see if I can get 200 kilowatt. So I navigated to Vik on the navigation. We have 55%, so I guess we're good to go now. We are now at Ionity Week. So, yeah, by the way, um, if you see a BMW with blue elements like this, it means that it has a laser light. It sees full of schmutz already. And remember to A, B, C, always buy Zulu and put it outside <laughs> for cooling down. But, so I arrived with 21%, it's not ideal. Let's see now, can we see 200 kilowatt? No, the heck? It's supposed to preheat before arriving at fast charger, but this happens every time now. We get only 60 kilowatts, so... Man, 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 it means that this car is cold gating like a boss. So, well, 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 what are we supposed to do now? Okay, we're gonna sit and wait a bit and see if the, the speed increases. Ooh, after 10 minutes of charging, we're getting 127 kilowatts. Now we're cooking. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 Shit. We are back in Oslo now. Car is fairly clean, it just rinsed it a bit. So total consumption for this trip is 227 watt hour per kilometer. It's kind of a semi-thirsty car for a sedan. And we apparently spend over seven hours, seven hours and 14 minutes uh, of this trip. So yeah, okay, all good. So my impression of this car is that it is a very good winter car. It ticks many of the right boxes. Uh, it semi fails a bit on preheating the battery, it cold gets a bit, but overall, it's a nice winter car. Yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.